Hello, I am Zarkoon. This is World of Warships Legends. Good morning, sunshine. All right. Well, let's just get right into it. I'm thinking we will start off by playing the Carl. What is this? The 14th Johan XIV. That's 14, right? I think we'll start out by playing this, but it's a pan European battleship. And I want to say that we have a. Yeah, we do. Okay, I thought we did. This guy, Janko Vukovic. He's the battleship commander. What's he all about? We've got secondary inspirations on him. He's a brawler commander. Battleship reload time. Battleship reload time for worst torpedo detect. Does this thing have sonar? It does. Porcupine. Do we need second? We're going to bump him up, I think, to rank 14, though. All right. Well, what modules do we put on the ship? What are the specs, anyway? So we've got 12 305s. They reload in 23 seconds with that guy. Secondaries have an 8.2 kilometer range with just porcupine. 10 km torps. So it's very much nerfed compared to what you can get on the PC. I don't I don't think the secondaries are that good. Cuz I own this ship on PC and the secondaries are useless. So we're going to build it more as a conventional battleship. Is what we're going to do. Secondary battery. No, no, no. Main battery, I think. Yeah. We're going to build it as uh, main guns. I want that. I don't want hipper. Maybe I'll try a secondary build at some point, but... I have the ship on PC and the secondary suck on there, so I don't know why they would be good here. Well, who knows? They do all kinds of stuff. Who do I want as the inspiration? I'm going past it. I want... Where the hell is he at? Ah, condo. Uh, okay. 12.5. Okay. Yeah. This is like... Eighty-six second reload. They're only ten km though. Hmm. And well, wait. What was the tur traverse time? Twenty-four. Probably don't need Kedrov on there. It's probably better to put somebody like Iakino. Just because these guns, I don't think, are very accurate. And twenty-eight second tur traverses perfectly. Fine, 6.8 km. Maybe they do want you to build them for secondaries. Maybe we will. Maybe we will, but... Actually, you know what? Scratch that. We do want Kondo on there. <laughs> Sorry for the sniffle. We will build for one secondary inspiration then. We'll do that. Okay, we don't... Yeah, then what do we get? 7.8. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we will just build for secondaries. Fuck it. Okay, so that is Porcupine, Hipper, Secondary Mod, 9.8. I don't know. I don't think building this for secondaries is actually going to be good, but I want to test it out because the secondaries do suck on PC but you can get range out of them here, so it's almost like they want you to build into them. And the ship has 13.5 km torps on PC. Here we get 10. The, the crucial difference, though, is this is a stealth torpedo boat on WoW's PC. You can get the D-Tech down to 10.6, and um, 
Oh, we've all got clan tags in front of our names now. Cool. Um, you can build it to 10.6 on PC, and the... Whoops. We need the wows. Uh, you can build it to 10.6 on PC, and the torpedoes are 13.5. Here I can get it down to 12.5. This is a extreme nerf to the concealment. Kind of changes the entire identity of the ship. Maybe. All right. Let's see what we can do. Aaron has already posted that this ship is cracked out, out of character. Oh, yeah. Doesn't he say that about every ship, though, even if it's not cracked? I think I'm going to end up removing the secondary build, though. Oh, Dyson, do we have that? Did they put that in my port? I guess Metajerk would not be aware of that information. Uh, what did they give? Johan, all the IJN cruisers, Dyson for two weeks. Okay, we do have Dyson. We'll check that out, too. And I want to play the Shimanto, at least, on the new IJN cruiser line. I also want to try these Italian DDs. Wasn't really trying for a burn, per se. Hopefully there's not a battleship over here. I know these guns are going to be incredibly disappointing. Turning. Might let him finish that. Oh, I don't think he's gonna go all the way. Yeah, about what I expected. Probably gonna need the HE, honestly. At least they reload fast. Oh my god. Well, I don't think there's any reason to push in here. Okay, good. At least we have two torpedo tubes on either side. Uh, you can join my fleet if there's open spots. I don't even know. I don't really pay attention to it all that much. I mostly just have it for the, the buffs. To credit earnings and such. So there's a DD in this cap. Should I turn on my sonar? Maybe not. Must be behind this island then. Uh huh. I think I will turn on the sonar just in case. Probably ought to not complain about the dispersion so much when we got the secondary mod on there. Need aiming systems mod 1 for the extra 7%, then maybe it'll be better. I don't think Shima knows I'm here to launch torpedoes in this gap. He does now, but... Oh yeah, look at those secondaries. Jesus. Well, what if I... Does that help? He's out of range now, I think, though. One secondary hit. Oh, yep, there we go.
All right. Well, the enemy team has taken the lead, but the Shima is dead. I don't think. Maybe he is. I don't think he would come this way, would he? Wouldn't be great to push in, I feel like. Are you gonna eat my torps, Daring? Yeah, he's not gonna push this. There's another cruiser out there, I know. But okay, we are not spotted. More torpedoes. Oh, I am not a uh, Durka. Durka's cool, though. Hello, Ghost Knight. Probably should have the AP loaded. Uh, about what I figured. We did get spotted by a plane momentarily. Okay, well, here's a test of these secondaries, then. Two hits. I don't think the battleships have shots on me. But I do think we have a permafire burning on the minnow. wonder if Henri's gonna... Come out of here and try to tort me or something. Eh, yep. Well, I don't know if he's trying to tort me, but he is doing something. Now I'm crossfired between Henri and Minnow. I think I'm gonna die. I think we're gonna lose this game. Maybe though. Main Probably overextended. I doubt there's anything we can do to Henri though. There's nothing I can do to these battleships. Yeah, we're gonna die. Kill me. All right, thanks. Thanks, K4N4K3 of Yonkonomics clan. All right. Well, that fucking sucked. Um, huh. That, that, that was bad. That was real bad. You wonder if this ship will be better? Oh, what's the story on Dyson? Early access IJN cruisers. What a... This is kind of an ugly camo. It's with all the arrows. And the lines. Ship does not seem cracked to me. Maybe the Dyson's more cracked. But I don't know. That was one game and it sucked, so... I have to try it again, of course. This ship is so long. What is the deal here? 53% torpedo damage reduction. What? Okay. 410s. 35 second reload. On eight 410-millimeter guns, we have a 35-second... Oh, that's 
turret traverse time. I fucking need more coffee. 29 seconds. Okay, that's more reasonable. 12.9 km. Or 12.9 km. 12.9 K. Sh Brutus. Brutus. You want to go get the kitty? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cat, uh... Okay. Whoa. 16 torpedoes. 10 km. Interesting. Did it have secondaries, too? It does have secondaries. Are we supposed to build this thing for secondaries? And you get spotter plane, catapult, or secondary consumable. Well, if it's got secondary range, why wouldn't we build it for secondaries? In fact, why wouldn't we just use Condo? Point six. Prop mod, probably. Uh, maybe. Fuck, maybe even secondary mod. Who knows? Ten point three. That's not bad. Could be better if you wanted to fully build for it. Um, hmm, yeah. 35 knot top speed, 1,000 meter turning circle, 16 second rudder shift is pretty good, though. Huh. I guess we could run Haruna. I don't know that I really need Kedrov on there. The turret traverse will probably be fine without him, maybe. Put Haruna on there. 10.6, 35 second turret traverse. I mean, that's fine. Might as well put on a speed and range flag just to get the uh, speed to 36, guns to 17. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see. I think the camo is really kind of ugly, but... Oh, actually, though, I do want to, because I have no idea what this thing's armor is like. 32. Sorry for the sniffles again. I don't know what's going on this morning. Is that a turtle back? Yeah, I know. Planet Clash is here. I think this thing has, like, a turtle back slope. It does have sloped citadel sides. Hmm. So it's like an Amagi turtle back. It's only on the front part of the Citadel, though. Not on the back. It's weird. And it's just... Oh, no. It does have... It does have a slope there. 76. Okay, so it does have a slope. It's got turtle back. <laughs> Probably battle cruiser dispersion. Maybe. Seems like it is a battle cruiser. It's got battleship armor plating. Are you done bitching at the cat, Brutus? Secondaries might not be the way, but I mean, when they've got the range to build into it, why not try it? I think secondaries are probably not the way on Carl Johan. 
The ship is long. Look at it. It's so long. Why? Why is there nothing between the funnel and the rear tower? You see that? There's like room for a whole ass turret right there. But they put catapult fighters there. Why do they do that? They could have put a whole nother turret right there and we could have had 10 guns instead of eight. Foolish IJN ship designers. I would have put a turret there. I would have, I would have done it. I would have put a turret right there. Catapult fighters. I wonder if our engine boost is just a regular 8% or if it's something insane. It's insane. Is it more than 8%? I probably should have looked. Is it 15-20%? Uh, kind of like the French. We're not going to get any damage on Yamato, but... I suppose... I suppose extra turret does equal more weight. Oh, we did get a couple pens. Wonder if we'll run into anything here. If there's nothing over here, then... There's probably a DD, though. But if there's nothing over here, then... Yamato might be coming this way. And these are really bad torpedo angles, but of course there's a fucking Shimakaze right there. Was it worth it? Was it worth it to hit me with one fucking torpedo? Well, this is really annoying. I don't know what the hell is in this smoke, but oh my god. Hopefully Yamato does not pick this moment to come right around the corner. Of course he does. We're dead. Of course he does. Well, that was a shitty first game, too. I am not on top of it this morning, apparently. Maybe my torps will kill whatever fucking cruiser is torturing me there. No, but they did hit. Will the other two hit? No. Well, the secondaries might be viable. They killed the Shima. The ship is probably cracked. Put it in the armory for steel for a reason. It's just unfortunate that was such a bad game. Well, okay, we got Carl Johan back. Okay, I want to maybe reevaluate this build. Oh, thank you, EJ. I probably should get some coffee. I think I want to rethink this build, though. I don't think I want secondaries. I think I just want main guns. Fuck secondaries. Aiming systems mod one, all right? Yes. But at the same time, well, we really don't. Uh, I mean, I'll just keep Porcupine on there. I don't need better turret traverse. Can we get this guy? No, we cannot get another heal out of this. That's unfortunate. I don't think I don't think I do want Hipper on there. I'm gonna go with what I had initially. There we go. 
We don't have an accuracy build battleship commander, though, which is kind of... You know what? <clears throat> we don't need the secondary range, really, at all. There we go. That's better. Okay. All right. All right. Try this again. I want to go fast. What's the armor here look like, anyway? It does have 32 millimeter bow with 35 millimeter icebreaker. It's got sloped armor, turtle back, 50 millimeter plate. Might actually be effective. And the citadel is buried underwater. Yeah. That's underwater, isn't it? Or it's like right at waterline. Huh. Interesting. Good morning, donuts. Maybe, maybe broadside sailing protection. Just hope to get these torpedoes in play. Haven. Okay, okay, so they did... They did spread out the spawns. I feel like this side is still slightly maybe more favored, maybe not. But they did change the spawns. That's good. That looks better, I guess. These guys are further over there, which is good. This spawn is not good, though, because this guy has only one choice. He cannot really turn that way because there's an island right there. I think you could spawn us outside of the cap. I think they could push the spawns back a little bit further so that this guy does not have to go in front of that island. So he can get spotted by a carrier and have his back to the island and then get his broadside blapped from across the map. We're already spotted. Alright, are these guns any better with uh, aiming systems? Not really. Not really. Oh, there's a whale. Ouch. It's going to get zero damage. Yeah, this ship is super cracked. I think the only way we're going to get anything going is if we can actually get the torpedoes on anything. That Carl got touched. Who touched him? Was it the Minnesota? Must have been. Oh, look, the Zeton is dead. I kind of thought he might be the first to go down due to the spawn. I mean, that's not the worst accuracy ever, but that is seven ricochets. 
Probably should just be spamming HE with this thing. Do I need... I don't think I want to go further. Surely he wouldn't push in, though. Right? Actually, I do want to go further. I don't think any other battleship has my broadside. Yeah, that's better. These are 305s. And the Kaga got the Carl on the red team. Okay. Oh my god, there's another one. People have been buying the campaign. I wonder if they are satisfied with their purchase. The entire enemy team is on that other side of the map, I guess, except for this mines. Probably could use the AP for this one, but... Look at that accuracy. Oh my god. It's so... Well, actually, that was six shells. Probably should have used the AP. That was half the, uh, half the total number of shells. Well, all right. Spotted by these torpedo bombers. Yay. Probably shouldn't do this. But I mean, we gotta take this cap for sure. At least the AA seems somewhat good. The thing is not the fastest ship in the world, though. Definitely not the fastest. Try the AP, maybe? Kaga's gonna just fucking kill me, though. Oh shit, he is looking this way. Probably should have angled. Yeah. 9k. Why are we spotted? Is the CV surface spotting me? Or is it the DD? I don't know. Turning this on just in case. It is the DD. Oh, great. Here comes the fucking Kaga. Surely that guy won't stay in the smoke. Can we take this calf? No, oh, we're gonna sail out of it. The DD can take it. What the hell? How long is the duration on this sonar? Why do I only... I popped it like two seconds ago. There's 30 seconds left. I have 
have to look at that. Spotted by the planes. Probably gonna get torped here. Ninety-eight seconds. Hmm. Seemed like it ran out really quick. Oh, somebody in my clan. Huh. <laughs> Hope you die. Nope. Yeah, these guns are cracked, I'd say. Aaron's thumbnail. If he wrote the ship is cracked, he, he must have been talking about these guns. I feel like torpedoes are gonna come through this gap. Well, I, I, yep, what did I tell you? I'd like to win. But okay, we just slow down, avoid the torps, it's all fine. Sonar is gonna be back soon. We'll probably die making this push. But I want to fight the other Carl, maybe. I wonder if he's got AP loaded, though. Mm, yeah. I think this is going to be my doom. Finally, we got some torps. Ship is working as intended now. All right, so even if I die to this DD, maybe this was a useful push. If only we could do like some sort of meaningful damage to the mines. That would be ideal. Enemy well, now the CV is going to kill me. I don't think... Yeah, I think this one's a loss. I don't know about this ship, though. I do not know. We'll return to it soon. Kind of want to give the Dyson another go and then maybe try one of these IJN cruisers. I think Condo's not a bad way to go on this, and I think... I don't know, I think secondaries might be all right for this one. What other IJN battleship can you realistically build for secondaries anyway? Do I own the San Louis? I don't. I'll buy the San Louis, though, and we'll test that. But 
I do want to try, I want to try the Dyson again. Then maybe like the Shimanto or something. So cracked that it's not watertight anymore. Ha. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about this Carl Johan. Oh, good. Think Arn Jesus. Tried the San Luis this morning. You got rammed by a Tulsa. It rams okay. Okay, good to know. I'm I'm glad the ramming abilities of the San Luis are still intact. It was always a it was always a ship that really could give a good ram, you know? Good to know though. Very, very good. This ship is probably a pretty good rammer, too. I mean, look how fast we're going. We're about to ram this uh, A gear. Oh, he's going to... He's Look, he just misses by, like, three feet. Actually, probably faster than the A gear. I bet we're, like, super stupid fast with this engine boost. These torpedo angles, though, are little, little sus. Wow, that one you can only get, like, right there. Some IJN, like, cruiser torpedo angles. That was all right. That was all right. Tire enemy teams over here. Okay, all the battleships. All the BBs. Marbara. Ooh, Iowa though. Look at that, Iowa. Oh no, I think I clipped the island. Okay, well, that's not good. I think Iowa is not flat broadside, I guess. Maybe we don't want the condo build on here. Because I certainly cannot push in. So we just have to kind of hang out here for a second until things start happening, I guess. Maybe torpedoes for the Iowa. Kind of want to wait. See if he turns. Okay, try this again. That looks like better. Maybe that'll do something. Or zero damage. Three over pens. Ooh, does Iowa actually want to sail in? Hmm. 
Sure, we can get zero damage on him when he's uh, flat broadside, but when he angles... Oh, he's going to get punished for that. Good thing Marbras only shoot HE. Yeah, okay, so maybe, um, maybe Takagi or something. Maybe not Kondo. That, um, that accuracy, though. I mean, did you see those shells? Why? Why is it like, why can it get damage and have good accuracy when things are angled? But as soon as they go broadside, it's like, nope, you'll get zero damage. The ship is a troll, that's why. This is the trolliest ship that they've ever put in. Oh, I guess the trick is you get good accuracy uh, when they are angled and in the process of turning broadside, that's when you got to shoot these guns because then they'll be accurate. Okay. I understand. Engine boost. Too bad we don't have that one guy, Fisher, so we can get speed as my armor. That looks decent. All right. One Citadel. See, that Iowa was also in a turn. The accuracy is good when the enemy's turning. Oh, Marlboro also in a turn. We can tag that Citadel, I bet. Maybe. If I had led it a little bit more, maybe. Oh, nope, see? See? That's what, that's what we gotta remember about the Dyson. If the ship sails flat broadside, cannot, uh, cannot hit shit. IJN dispersion improves at range? Maybe it does. But ship flat broadside, no chance. Ship in turn, infinite damage. That's how these guns work. These torpedoes are never going to reach the Marlboro. Probably. Iowa, Marlboro, Marlboro. He's dead, probably. He should be dead. No, Iowa, or New Jersey, or whatever the hell you are. Get away from me. Yeah, I think uh, the way that I ended up playing this one, probably should have had Takagi on here. The brawling build is kind of useless. I did see the secondary shoot like one time. Three shatters, though. Well, 
What do I think about the Carl Johan? I don't know yet. I've played two games in it, and neither one was very good, and the guns seem very bad. And it is not um, the insane, weird thing you can get on PC, because I've got the ship on PC, and it's quite different. Three, two, one. What's the return of three, two, one? Uh, I was hoping for more than a measly. Was that an overpen? I was hoping for more than that. Engine Busto. Don't know how fast this thing can get with the engine boost on. How fast can we go in a straight line? I think it goes like 36 knots without the engine boost. 38? Can we hit 40? Can we hit over 40? 30, 39, 39.8. I turned a little bit. Wait, wait, 40? Hit 40, come on Dyson. You can hit 40 knots. Oh my god, 40 knots in a battleship. It's insane. That's insane. Ah, uh, what the actual fuck is smoking up right there? Plymouth? Sir. Don't do this. Is that Republic just shot, I hope? So I can turn. Why am I still spotted? Is the DD around here? Please kill the Iowa. I think the DD might be around these parts. Could be bad. I think we're also going to lose this game. Kill the Iowa with this shot. For the love of all that is good in this world, Dyson, do it. It's turning F. It's not going to kill him, I bet. Yeah, well. And the Plymouth killed our... Yeah, we're going to lose this game. Ouch, Republic. And DD Torps. That's it. Well, that was certainly better. But... But I'm thinking probably... Takagi. Takagi at the helm instead of Kondo. I don't know. Maybe you can build this thing for secondaries and get it to brawl, but there's not really an opportunity in that battle. Anyway, let's go down to El Siete. Look at this thing. The Shimanto. Look at the turrets. Why do they look so comically big? These turrets look way too big for the hull. They look silly. How many guns is this? Is this 15 guns on a tier 7 cruiser? 13.9 kilometer range, 15 second reload, yeah, okay. 13.5 kilometers, 57 knot torps. Very fast though. 12 torps. 
That's interesting. The commander... Maybe not Mikawa. Maybe Yamamoto. Beyond range, igniter. Probably fully packed. Honestly, though, probably put Mikawa's inspiration. Mikawa Mimbelli. Church versus time is like nothing, so that's fine. 15.3 seems a little bit more workable. Um, oh, to be fair, though. Fuck playing stock ships. God, we do need to upgrade it. Uh, probably aiming systems. I mean, what else would you use? Probably prop mod. Probably, obviously, concealment mod. And then main battery reload, I would think, probably. Probably main battery reload. 16.8, 12... 12, 13 second reload on 150 millimeter guns. I mean, there are 15 of them to be fair, but that's a long time. Eight second rudder shift, 10.4 kilometer detect. Huh. Uh, hold on a second. Just uh, let me melt some of these kill me camos down. I don't know, probably like uh, for a thousand paint. That should do it. I guess what's the what's this? Oh, actually. I kind of like that. I kind of like that a lot. What's this? What the fuck? Art department? Did you take a day off? What is this? This is the most underwhelming historical camo in the game. They just painted it gray. Well, we're definitely going with this one. Have a little bit of, you know, aesthetics. Are you kidding? It's insane. We'll put Chuck's flag on there. I don't know. You can switch out the fighter plane for what? DFAA? Honestly, that's probably the better consumable if there's going to be CVs around. Fighter planes don't do anything to CVs. All right. Well, let's see how the Shimanto is. Like World of Warships Legends has an art department. Yeah. I don't know, though. That, that just gray. It's depressing, isn't it? That just gray drab... If you can even call it a camo. Can you call it a camo? Can you call it a camo with any accuracy? DFAA on an IJN ship? Yeah, we're definitely in fantasy land. I just don't know about a light cruiser with 150 millimeter guns having a um, 13 second reload, even when you fully build for it. I've got Reload Mod. I've got Mimbelli as an inspiration. I don't know how much more you could build for it without giving fully packed... Well, you could give up fully packed, and then it'd be slightly faster if you did. Whatever that one skill's called. I do like this camo, though. Let 
Well, at least the turret traverse doesn't take three years. That's good. IJN turret traverse on cruisers is slow a lot of the time, I feel like. But not on the light one. Or the... Ooh. Whoa. Well, these are not the torpedo angles. Uh... Wow, okay. It's way better than the main line. These aren't like these bullshit, like, oh my god, we're doomed. We gotta give flat broadside torpedoes. These are like, we're, we can launch them at any angle torpedoes. That is kind of nice. But how floaty are these shells? Because I thought... I haven't actually played the line on PC, but I thought the shells were really floaty. Did I miss? Must have missed. Ship is fast. Hmm. Oh, there's an Akatsuki. Uh. Six torps, though. That's it. Just six. Meh. Oh, I thought the Akatsuki was, like, gonna stay there. I guess not. Yeah, these are floaty-ass shells, though. Five and a half second reload without leg mod activated. We are going to have to buy the San Louis. gonna need to maybe go try and deal with that hipper can we hit the Odin Still spotted, okay. Nope, all right. Never know. Is that two permas? Or did he DCP? He DCP'd. Okay. Oh, the uh, the mid turret on the front is 360 degrees. That's cool. Who knows? Probably never going to hit the hipper, but... Get back. 
get back. Let's get out of the cap. I was hoping Hipper would uh, come this way, but he doesn't want to. I doubt I can hit Akatsuki at that kind of range. Let's see, beaches himself a little bit. Eh. It does light fires, I guess. Maybe. I think those torpedoes have the range. I think they do. And they hit hard, so... Yep. They're like 20k torps, I think. New Orleans. New Orleans, what are you doing, buddy? That is a hipper. He has torpedoes. I'm gonna have to help the Nolans. I have to have to help him out. He's reversing reverse bow tanking the hipper. Which is going to try to torpedo him. He might be able to kill it, though. Try the AP. Oh, the hipper actually, like, is turning to... He beached himself. Maybe he didn't. All right, well, New Orleans got him. I was a little worried, but it's all good. I do appreciate how fast these turrets traverse, though. That is nice. It's just uh, a shame the guns take three years to reload. Yeah, this is not the historical camo, though. Keep in mind, this is some sort of premium camo. The Rising Sun flag, it's, it's not in the game. Yes, this is the Tier 7 alternate light cruiser, the Shimanto. It seems all right, despite the extremely long reload for 150 millimeter guns, it seems not too bad. I wonder if my torpedoes will catch the Akatsuki. Or whatever DD that is. Oh. I wonder what my uh, smoke fire penalty is. Because I didn't even get spotted there. Do these torps get Merker, maybe? Oh, they might. Oh, they might get him. He might be in big trouble. Imagine if they do. How glorious would it be? But they might get the Nagato, too. I'll take the Nagato, if not the Merker. That's fine. Oh, shit. 
They ran out. Ooh, no. Could have been very bad. Are you joking? Is that a Merker that just shot HE at my broadside? Come on. Come on, Merker. You should have citadeled the shit out of me. I'm sure you can. I don't know. This is the first game I've played, and it's the tier 7, but this thing seems all right. I don't think I'm going to worry about the Atlanta too much. I want to kill the Merker. Kill the Merker. 60 second sonar. What the fuck? Is this a 60 second sonar? Now that's bullshit. 60 second G gross occur first sonar? Does it even have 6km ship detect range? I don't know if that's like a really narrow spread per se. It actually seems really wide because it's only um, it's only three torps at each launcher. And I thought they spread out actually pretty wide. Where is the last cruiser? Excuse me, sir. Get the fuck out of my way. Move your ship. I don't know why I'm speaking in this accent. All right, I will slow down and you, you do your thing, Lightning. You get out there and you find... Oh, the rear turrets are 360 degrees. Oh, I didn't even notice that. The rear turrets and the... Oh, and... Oh, yeah. All right. They are, like, all 360. That's cool. Except for the very front one. They can't actually pen the Amalfi. But it's fine. Uh, ooh. Yeah, that hurts. Yeah, they can't actually pen the Amalfi, but... You know, you can't have everything. How does it compare to Suzy? Um, I don't know. It's got faster turrets. Not bad. Certainly not bad at all. I kind of like that. That was kind of fun. What's the armor like on this? Do we already look at that? I don't remember. Ah, okay. It's just uh, 25 everywhere, so that's to be expected. Except on the deck. What's that, 27? Yeah. Big superstructure. Uh, wow. That is a citadel. That is a citadel and a half. Yeah, that's going to be uh that's going to be painful if you get any hits there. All right. So, you know what else I want to see though? Not Brindisi. I want to see these Italian DDs. Cause they buffed this. I've already got a gunboat build on here. What's the reload now? 3.9 seconds. 
I, I kind of want to play the Adriatico, see how that goes, because they buffed this, and it has a 3.9 second reload on these sap guns. I wonder if it'll be good. Not that it was, like, the most trash DD in the world, but the reload was not that short. It was a lot longer than that. I don't remember what it was, but it was not that short. Yeah, I was real skeptical of this IJN line, though, because I knew that they all had, like, a shit ton of 150mm guns, but the reload was really, really slow. So I was like, how's that going to be in practice? But, I mean, on the Shimanto, it wasn't bad. The guns were not uh, penetrating anything, but they were lightened fires. The torpedoes are pretty potent. The ship is fast and very maneuverable and... Seems like it could be pretty good. I thought it said 150. Is it 155? Same difference. I don't know what the um, base reload on the Adriatico is now, but I know on this build I've got it down to 3.9 seconds. And I think... It could be made faster than that because I've got the range mod on the guns, I'm pretty sure. One fifty, one fifty five, one fifty two. They're not anywhere close to they're within a couple millimeters of each other. They're more or less the same thing. I don't think there's too much of a difference. But I thought the gun said 150. I didn't realize the fun police were about, what are they, Parcival? One fifty five is a bespoke Japanese design, oh, if you say so. I have to look back at that cruiser, but I swear the gun said 150. I might be wrong. Great, 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 great. Oh, whoops, no. I want that off. Yeah, well, there's a CV right there. Or planes, rather. Anything coming out on this flank? Hello, Daniel. I guess they do have that April Fool's event going on, don't they? Alright, well, if there's nothing here to shoot me while the CV is spotting me... Oh, wait. What do we have here? What do we have here? A Hayate, huh? Holy goddamn, that was not the Hayate. I think that was the Jean Bar. At least I don't think that was the Hayate that took all that HP from me. That was like 5k. Had to be the Jean Bar. Georgia coming around. Is Hayate going to shoot me with his guns? We're going to get in the cap for sure. Okay. 
maybe I can even shoot the Georgia a little bit. Oh, shit. That's not good. For the Georgia. Do my torps make contact? Probably not. Oh, shit. Get him with one. Probably need to go after Friesland. Whoops. Not anywhere near enough lead. Well, the reload would be great. Just gotta get the guns to hit. That's the trick. That's why I've got Arlie Burke as one inspiration. Does help a little bit. Friesland, though, he does have very good firepower. I think he's dead, though. Oh, come on. Jean Bar, though. Jean Bar is a little spooky. turn around. I'm worried that the Jambar is going to come right around this corner and do bad things. They got the Friesland though. Oh good, he didn't shoot at me. Oh shit, I'm gonna hit our Jambar. FF. Run away. No need to die for this cap. Didn't think, didn't think those torps would hit. Ouch. My detect is so bad. Oh good, he just shot. Three, two, one. Smoke. Right in the bow, I think. That ought to get some good damage. Yeah. Get him right in the bow. Did 
Till it gets saturated. Then starts giving shit damage, but I think he's dead. Uh, this thing feels a lot better to me. This thing feels a lot better. I like this, actually. It's kind of fun. Finally off on an update day? Yeah, I took the day off work myself. But yeah, this thing this thing seems much improved, certainly. I didn't think it was like terrible to begin with, but but they certainly improved it. All right, Hayate. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I thought it was all right to begin with, but uh, now, now it's a spicy little meatball. Spicy little Italian sausage, I don't know, spicy, pasta boat. The only real shame is that we have 64,000 damage and not 69. Maybe with engine boost we can farm some off the evil fun police man over there. Samurai. Oh, no. It's over. It's over with victory. How was that? Definitely not not bad, honestly. Not not bad. Okay, but we also should look we should look at the um see if this thing is we're going to I'm going to have to buy it again. Okay. San Louis. Lemonier. Camouflage. Nope. 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 Kill me, please. Camo, that'll work. What can you trade? Oh, yeah, you can trade the heel for a... Who would ever trade a heel for a plane? That's silly. It's ridiculous. I do not have the legendary tier CVs, and I probably will never get them. All right. I do not believe in CVs, you see. I think they're a menace. A menace to society. So I don't believe in them. It's kind of a joke. What, Brutus? That's how Brutus sounds. You're in a game with an AFK carrier? Yuck.
The font is so much smaller on everybody's names now. What's the reload time now? I should have looked at it. Six point something. It's pretty good. 6.5. All right. Could probably buff that a little bit more, but 6.5 is really, really good. I think that was the only thing they buffed on the ship, right? I got the Ministry of Balance articles. What does it say? Cherbourg? No, 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 no. Lyon? No, 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 no. San Luis. San Luis. Oh, HP. It's got more HP now. It's got 44,000 HP. It's got 44,000 HP, and the upgraded reload time on the main guns was reduced to a base of 7.5. Previously, it was 8.5. Okay. Tulsa. Whoops, that's bad aim. I don't think Chili really plays this game anymore either. Just hoping there's nothing else over here. Oh, Weimar, though. That's fine. Too far away? Did I change the chat overlay? I don't think so. I don't actually see the chat overlay now, though, that, now that you say that. Oh, we should look at Leone, too. I forgot about that one. We're going to have to take a trip down to tier five, but I do. I was very curious to see how that was. Did you DCP that? You did not DCP that. Why would you do something like that, Veneto? Now you're going to get punished for it, if RN Jesus is good. RN Jesus, we pray to thee, light a fire on this, there we go. Teach him the error of his ways, putting out a single fire. He has to learn. You got to take him to the depths of hell to teach him a lesson. Double fire, please. Yes. All right, Heisen then. Praise are in Jesus, for he gives us warmth of the fire. Once again, we beseech our in Jesus, give us another permafire. Oh no. Detected. How did Heisen lose all his HP? I thought he had more than that. Maybe not. Give us a fire. Don't shoot at me, Veneto. Hopefully it can't. 
Heisen can. There we go. El Fuego. Dos. And dead. Okay. But there is a DD in that cap, and I don't... What is it, though? Lo Yang. Not necessarily the scariest DD known to man, if you're in a cruiser, but... Probably ought to try to deal with... Oh, there it is. Good, good. Uh, you probably... You're gonna... You're gonna be hurt now. Eh, he's not hurt that bad. I don't think I want to push straight into it, though. Well, I guess only Vimar is here. Probably should. What radar did, anyway? It must have been... Oh, I guess it was Chappie. That makes sense. I didn't even think I saw any radars around. The only thing is, no sonar. Is the San Luis viable now? I mean, it seems all right. Probably should check on, like, Stalingrad and Alaska, maybe, too. Do a survey of those, because I know they changed them to make them less tanky. Probably not necessary. Come on, Weimar. Come out and play. Good thing Lo Yang torpedoes don't hit for too much. Oh, the Weimar is really killing the Dyson. Oh no, this poor guy. This poor guy. He gets the Dyson day one with his 25,000 steel. Only to get melted by a Weimar. It's a sad day for him. It's a real sad day. He might kill the Weimar, though, maybe. He probably will eat torpedoes from the Lo Yang, though. We'll be able to kill the Weimar if we can ever get near it. I have no doubts that this thing will kill the Weimar. Unless the Weimar wants to continue hiding behind the island, which he probably does. Cross torps? Probably gonna have to turn around. Oh no, we could lose this game now. That's not good. Now there's Weimar. That hurts a little bit, I will admit, but... Die, please. Please die. 
Your DPM is annoying as fuck. Oh my god, they all missed. Okay, now he's dead. What? He's dead, right? I didn't get the kill? What the hell happened? He's dead, but who got the kill? One of the battleships in the center? It's, hmm. Weird. All right, though. Thought for sure I was going to get that kill. But okay. I guess it was the Alabama or the other thing. Huh. I was robbed. Was it the Roma? <laughs> All right, Lo Yang. Oh, he's torpedoing the battleships. But he's caught between me and the battleships. He'll be spotted at some point, I bet. Probably shouldn't sail in a straight line for so long, but I feel like he's probably over here. He thinks he's over here. Maybe he is. Who knows? I bet he won't shoot his guns and show himself, though. He's trying for that solo warrior, but he doesn't have enough time, so... I don't think he's there. I mean, to be honest, I have no clue where he is, but definitely not over there. That much I do know. Just shoot your guns, little Lo Yang. You got no chance. You've got one opportunity to farm a little bit more damage and XP, but... I don't think he is over there, though. I mean, maybe he is. I am located, and now... No, he's over in this direction, I bet. I bet he is. Radar. Nothing. Oh, shit. He is all the fucking way over there. Hmm. And he shoots at me. That's cute. He doesn't try to shoot like... Well, maybe he couldn't see the Alabama. That's who I would shoot at. Did I play the Tier 5 reward ship yet? No. But I think I might go to Tier 5 next and look at the Leone. I think we'll go down to tier 5 and take a look at the Leone next. 
A lot of people over 2,000 XP. That's good. I do have the gun guy on there. Seven seconds. Give it a try. Build it for the guns, because it's got eight of them. Never thought I'd be voluntarily playing the Leone again, but here we are. Times change. Neighbors, capture the base, best game mode in the game. That's good. Agla and T22. Top tier. Three, two, one. Battle starts. Yeah, combatimento. We'll go this way. Probably some ships will sail around these islands. That's usually what happens. Follow me, Byron. The, uh, what was changed on the Leone? There were some stuff what was changed. Uh, da, 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 da. Alaska, Stalin, Brass, Leone. Leone is one of the destroyers with the greatest potential as a hull. Eight guns on a Tier 5 destroyer is notable. However, this ship lacks greatly in rate of fire compared to her peers as compensation for the number of guns, which detracts from the ship's unique traits. To address this, she is she sees a substantial improvement to rate of fire. Main battery reload time reduced from 9.5 to 8 seconds. And we've built into it a little bit, so we've got it at 7 seconds. So the reload was buffed. That was it, though. But that was probably the correct buff, because it was kind of dumb to have 8 guns with a 9 second reload. All right. Where is the... Oh, okay. T-22, are you going to shoot your guns? Assume that, yeah, probably torped. Oh, there's another DD. Oh, too much lead. Get him. Seriously?
It's a lot of fighting of DDs. Good to know this thing can beat the shit out of a tier 4 DD. Okay, Igla. Ouch. Reload was definitely buffed by a bit. We're gonna lose this game, I think. I would maybe shoot at the Lee, the Omaha, not the Leone. I am the Leone. I think we just got to go for the enemy base because we're going to lose. That flank over there is going to collapse. And we're just going to have to go straight for the enemy cap. Hello, Igla. Shit. Oh, come on. Hit the Aegla. That didn't kill him? I think like one shell is all it's going to take. enemy base hopefully our battleship is like if the other DD does go for the cap hopefully the battleship can deal with it to the base get to the base before they start capping ours there's another smoke screen there why is that the t22 i hope they don't have a cruiser with a smoke screen or i might be in big trouble T-22. It's a bold move. Alright. The Igla is not in the enemy cap. I think this might be a win.
Zap would be all right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced, or is, that's as close as I can get it. Agla. It is A-I-G-L-E. I think it means eagle in French. I probably am mispronouncing it, but... I can tell you it's not eagle. People pronounce it that way, but that is definitely not how it's pronounced. Hopefully, team can hurt the Grash Bay. We can probably shoot at it, smoke up a little. He might actually take those torps. Yep. Unless he dies to the cruiser first, but that's it for Grash Bay. Oh, there you are, Agla. And I think with that, victory is achieved. Who's this cruiser? We're going to say ping that square of the map, and then we're going to say nice work to the Laga. Uh-oh. All right. Nick just got home from his lunch, so Brutus has gone crazy. Not like a huge amount of damage, but most of that 30k was against the DDs, so I assume this will be good XP. And I mean... The ship is definitely improved. I think before this, we might have had a little bit of a tougher time dealing with a T-22 and an Agla. I think we might have had a rougher time before the ship was buffed. But now, the ship actually seems solid. I kind of enjoy that. Not a bad result. Okay, had to mute myself there for a second. What do we do next? What do we do next? I don't know. Maybe we ought to look at... Is that tier 5? No, we don't have the Mysore thing, do we? Do we have Mysore? What did they give us? No. I don't think so. But, you know what I do want to do? Let's go up to tier 7 again, because I realize something. I have... 
This guy. IJN Cruiser Commander. Speed is my weapon. Interesting. It's in the gift store. It's a gift in the store, I mean. Hmm. Achilles... Special? Personal offer, loyalty reward. Ah, there it is. Free, and then we get we get a hundred thousand global XP. That's kind of cool. Two insignias, promotion orders, some premium time. Loyalty is royalty mission. I wonder what's in the mission. Let's see. All right, now we got the Mysore. Okay, game, I got it. I know we got a personal mission. What would be the personal mission? Loyalty is royalty. And we get a coupon and insignias for completion. Okay, and a patch. I don't know what the coupon thing is. All right, you know what we'll do, though, is we'll go to Tier 5, then, and we'll see what the Mysore is like. I think that... Is that a Commonwealth? Yeah. Commonwealth Cruiser. I think it's a Fiji. It looks like a Fiji, but less... Fiji has 12 guns, doesn't it? It's got... Only AP... No torpedoes. Only AP and no torpedoes. Okay. Regular smoke. Sonar it gets. It gets a heal. Okay. So I guess uh, aiming systems. Propulsion. And I mean, there is... Only this guy. He does... Well, we don't need that. We also don't need that if we don't have HE. We just have AP. We'll do that. Shell grouping. Bring Farncomb, I guess, up to 14 as well. Okay. They're very uninspiring camo. Ah, uh, they did something to Cyclone. 8.9 second reload. What is... Hold on one second, though, because what is, um, oh, right, Leander gets a 7.5 second reload, but it has eight guns, and this has nine, huh? Yeah, I don't know. That's the second camo like that. We looked at the Shimanto's camo, and it is. it also looks like that, but there's another option, which I used instead. I don't know about this. Oh, Neighbors again? Well, at least it's not Capture the Base Mode. Yikes. I assume since they gave us this ship for just for free for playing the game for five years, it's probably not a good ship, if I had to guess. It might be okay, but I'm going to just assume it's probably not great. Although having a heal as a cruiser at tier five, I mean, that's certainly good. 9.5 detect is pretty good.
turret traverse is atrocious. It's probably not terrible, but it's probably not great. It's probably pretty middle of the road, if I had to guess, because they're giving it for free. It can't be, like, the best thing in the world. The firing angles are not good with that rear gun. But I guess the idea is you probably want to farm stuff from smoke. I should have the guns this way. Hopefully I'm not dead to this Huga. Literally cannot pen anything on Huga. Eight shells, zero damage. What about Nelson? Oh, this is that... Is this that exhaust smoke? I think this is that quarter speed exhaust smoke. Yeah. Oh no. YouTube losing the signal on the stream. Poor. Hmm. I just realized I'm flat broadside to Arizona. Okay, there we go. It seems like we're getting the signal back. Status good. I certainly hope so. Oh, poor again. Oh, and I'm dead. Um. Yeah, I don't know about this ship. The AP felt like it was not doing anything. Uh, we might have to revisit that one. But I did want to go back up to tier 7 and take a look at this new cruiser commander. Where is it at? Filter to just cruisers. Uh, what the hell? Where did it go? Oh, here he is. Okay. So, all right. Probably HE. Torpedo acquisition range with sonar active, sonar duration. More guns, more torpedo range. Maybe more torpedo range? I don't know what's going on with the stream connection. More sea detectability or less sea detectability range. Rudder, torpedo reload, sonar, probably rudder. Killing distance, torpedo detectability, torpedo range, 
cruiser p torpedoes deal extra damage. Is that worth taking instead of fully packed? I don't know if that's worth taking instead of fully packed. But I think we are going to put Mimbelli as the second inspiration. Yeah. But then if we do that, because then we only have two heals. I don't know if that's really worth taking over fully packed. I'll do it, but... What do the torpedo stats look like now? 15.9 km. 58 knots. Okay. Concealment at 9.4. All right. Have to see how it goes. Should have put him on to begin with, but I forgot there was an all-new IJN cruiser commander. Do they have the turning torps? They have great torpedo angles. Ooh, okay. Normally I hate seeing CVs, but it'll be interesting to see how good the AA is. We got Saipan. Having two heals feels kind of spooky. I, I've played it for one game and I enjoyed it. This is the second game, so... We'll see. Maybe I'll throw some torps out there to begin with. Oh, yeah, they do. They are the curvy torps. They come off the back of the ship. Huh. Did not notice that the first time around. Oh yeah, the torp angles are really good. Hopefully he turns in a little bit. I don't know if those torpedoes would really have the range. Maybe they do. Is he slowing down? He is slowing down. They, they go almost 16 kilometers with this commander. Huh? One? Oh no, they spread out too much. I think I might have fucked up that DFAA. Oh shit, the Missouri shot? Okay. Well, he missed. 
Uh, the, I mean, it has a lot of HE to throw at destroyers. It's got sonar. One plane shot down without DFAA. These torpedoes might do the trick. It does seem like they could actually hit this guy. Is he aiming at me? Is he about to start reversing? Torpedo wax. Are you talking about on the? You should probably look at that April Fool's game mode, huh? Not hit this guy to save my life. Cannot hit the guy to save my life. Oh, I forgot. We only have a sixty second sonar. Why is the sonar 60 seconds? I'm going to have to look at the specs on it. It better have like 6km ship detect range or something, because 60 seconds is ridiculous. Unfortunate. Thank you. 
the Shimanto cannot kill itself. Now it can. Don't light me on fire. Oh, the hawk. Another thing that got buffed. Gotta be careful. If I can go dark, that would be ideal. Is that a waste of DFAA? Still alive. I think probably having fully packed is better. It would be better to have a heal. I haven't landed a single torpedo in this game. I think we lose, though. Get in their cap for a second, I guess. But all we've got left is this battleship behind me. How much you want to bet, though? Shit. Dead? Oh, wow. Just missed. How much you want to bet, though, if I launch these torps at the Saipan? They will actually hit it. Maybe he's not there, though. Maybe he's over there. keep having to sneeze and mute myself. Well, this battleship is going to be a problem, though. Shit. Are we dead now? Oh my god, I don't know how we survived that. Oh, well, now we're dead for sure. That's probably not enough to kill Turpits. I don't know, the Shimanto seems all right. I guess my torpedo, I guess the CV wasn't there. I was really hoping those torpedoes would hit it and it was just reversed up against the map border, but not quite. All right, 
I think it's time, though, to return to the looking at this campaign ship again. Because I don't know about this thing. I really don't. Hate when the CVs do that. Yeah. They uh, they do like to reverse to the map border. And they might not know the autopilot even exists. The AA didn't seem like anything too crazy or over the top. Oh boy, Dos Hermanos. Well, I would have actually considered going up the middle, but I guess we're on the flanks, so. Carl Johan, Carl Johan, Carl Johan. Oh, good. Okay. So that DD is going to go to the other flank. That's a good sign. Doesn't take more than two brain cells to notice the autopilot prompt on the map. No, but it does take the ability to read, and I don't know that everybody is literate. I worked in retail long enough that I know that grown-ass adults are incapable of reading the words and interpreting the meaning in things like sales ads or sales signs, so probably can't expect them to read the word autopilot in a user interface on a video game. Oh, you got the Maya? That's good. Maya is a very nice little tier six cruiser. That really is a good pull. That really is a good one to pull out of a crate for free, especially if you got it for free. Well, even if you paid a little something for it, probably cheaper than. But that is a good thing to get out of a crate. Kind of what I thought. Maybe I should try the AP. There's no way that Kagura's about to eat those torps, right? Oh shit, he damn well is. All right, I wanna turn around and maybe push into the Richelieu, if possible. Somebody's got to push. 
seems like an iffy proposition with Maine being over there. Finally. Oh shit. All right. Oh shit, is there a DD in our cap? Oh no, it's a Carl Johan. Hopefully Richelieu doesn't blap me here, but... Dead Richelieu. Oh, he has a built for secondaries. forward <laughs> hmm Can we get the the bow. Torpedo tubes destroyed. You son of a bitch. How much you want to... Oh, God. There's AP coming from that way. Uh, wanting to not give broadside to that. Okay, good. I think we're gonna die, though. Probably shouldn't have tried to get those torps on target. They all missed, anyway. I thought he was gonna go forward. He just reversed all the way. dark there's nothing to shoot at me
I wonder where the hell the DD is that's spotting me. Is it over here, maybe? Huh. It's in the cap. Okay. Is it dead? It is dead. Huh. Oh, hello, nice flaky crust. I don't know about this ship, though. It seems... meh. It seems rather... mediocre. Alright, maybe a little bit of revenge on the Jambar. Ah, uh, well, the only commander you can really use is a brawler commander, so sort of. Oh, Jambar's about to demonstrate why you don't sit still and go broad or bow tank in reverse. Easiest possible target for torpedoes in the history of man. He, is that a dev strike? Uh, almost. Yep. Nice. This little Jaeger is, uh, Chad. Yeah, I don't know about this. I don't know about this ship. I think probably there's no point in building for the secondaries. Yeah, geez, look at that. 3,000 XP from that Jaeger. Holy shit. GG. But yeah, this is the only battleship commander for the Pan-Europeans. Otherwise, you'd have to go with this guy, Conrad, which you could probably, I don't know, but all you get is this brawler guy. And, I mean, you can use this skill instead of this, which is kind of nice. You get almost as much reload without giving up the range, so that's kind of nice. And then you could build it... I mean, you could build it for secondaries, but the secondaries just seem so inaccurate. It's almost like there's not a point. And then the Dyson as well. I mean, I was using Kondo on there with a secondary build, which you could do, but the guns were just so... Ugh, I want to put Takagi on there and see kind of how that goes. We'll keep the secondary module and even the secondary consumable because we'll still get 8.2 km on the secondaries which is not bad but okay and then we go 32 if we got gyrating drill bits but that's not that bad i i, I want to test it out with takagi at the very least because i just don't know i mean you certainly could build it for secondaries, and you could use Kondo as the commander, and then the range is over 10 kilometers, which is nice. But the main guns seemed a little bit iffy with Kondo at the helm. I think this camo is ugly. I really do. Yeah, 
Yeah, the Shimanto is kind of good. Look at how long these gun barrels are. How far off the ship they go. Great, now we're spotted by the CV. Gear shoots us, Sovetsky Soyuz. Great. Well, it's got a citadel that even a Sovetsky Soyuz can hit at infinite range. Probably should have shot at the Soyuz. Might be a worse Iwami. Yeah, these guns are much better with Takagi at the helm. Assume spotted by Jaeger now. So use not a great angle. A gear though, I don't think I've got shots. Continue going this way, though. How dare you, Aegir? You got like a 27 millimeter bow, right? Well, you do, but these guns are not the most accurate. These black torpedoes could be kind of an issue. I think they are going to be able to catch up to us. It's just slow motion. be able to launch these torpedoes at Soyuz, but 
don't really quite have them reloaded or the angle. Oh my god. Jesus, a gear does a lot of damage. Of course, this is when Soyuz decides to turn the other way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about Dyson or the Carl Johan, to be honest with you. Neither of them seem all that spectacular to me. Hmm. Maybe we ought to just try this with a brawling build? With a secondary? No, I don't think so. I just don't think the... I mean, the guns are useless either way, I guess, so... Let's try this a different way, then. Where are you, Hipper? Okay, with Hipper Porcupine in the secondary mod, then we have 9.8 KM secondaries. Try it. Try it with the full secondary build. I think that's the way they want you to build it. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, just finished a game in the Dyson. It's it's all right. It's not like fantastic, I don't think. Neither is this thing. Alaska? They did nerf it. Is it worth the 25k steal? I don't know. Too early to tell, but first impressions? Not really. I, I highly doubt it's more worth getting than the Missouri or the Salem. I don't think it's quite on the same level. But maybe. I don't know. I've only played like two, three games in it. I don't think I'd be buying it, though just based off first impressions so far. Great, now we're spotted by the CV. That HE. I don't know how that broke my torpedo tubes when it hit like the superstructure in the front, but okay. Is 
I don't even want to shoot at any of these guys yet. Wichita's about to spot us, though. Schroeder. Finish that turn? No. Well, I cannot push in here. I know I have a brawler build, but if I try to push into this Schroeder, Wichita, I'm cross-fired by the Georgia. It can't be done right now. Not unless I just want to die for no reason. My god, these guns. I think this Wichita can just stay flat broadside and be totally fine. Tried it without Kondo once. Oh, wait, no. Get rid of Condo? Absolutely not. There's no way I'm giving up 12.6 kilometer concealment. I... I believe I have given the argument for why Kondo should be a um, inspiration on pretty much every battleship build. This one's kind of sad, though. Because you can get it to 10.6 km concealment on PC. Over pens. There's some pens. I think we can push into the Georgia now, though. Yeah, I mean... There are very good reasons to use Kondo. You do want to build into your concealment on battleships. That's a hill I'm going to die on. Kondo is going to be an inspiration on literally every battleship build I make. Kind of sucks when there's CVs in the game, because that really does negate things a little bit. But having 12.5 kilometer concealment is way, way better than 13, and there's a huge difference. All right, and try to deal with Georgia. Although I think if I push in here, I probably will still die. Ah. 
I don't think there's anything more valuable than the concealment, and I don't even think the concealment is slightly better. It's pretty significant when you've got Kondo on there in the concealment mod. And I think it's infinitely more valuable to have a little bit more leeway in positioning than it is literally any other inspiration you could think of in every case. The reason you want to build concealment on your battleships is because if you're spotted at 12.5 km versus what it would be without Kondo, which I think is over 13, well, then you can push in a little bit further before you get spotted. You can get away a little bit easier if you need to disengage. If there's a DD in the game and you're spotted at 12.5 versus 13, well, you got a little bit of a better chance of being able to pinpoint its location because of that. Games like this suck, though. Games with no DDs and CVs. Whoa, a citadel. It's insane. Um, try to Yakino as one of the inspirations. I just actually switched him out for Hipper to get these secondaries working. I don't know if it's really worth it, but... Ouch. Yeah. You rely on your positioning personally. That's exactly why you would want to build into concealment, though. That's the entire purpose. Believe me, the only thing I'm thinking about when I'm playing battleships is where can I put this on the map to be the most effective? That's what anybody should be thinking about when they're playing a battleship. And, um... The having concealment built in helps helps you acquire better positioning. I don't know though. I don't I don't know if um I I feel like the secondaries are kinda useless on this thing. I don't know. So such an odd ball ship. So is this. Cause this thing, if I wanted to if I actually wanted to use condo with a full secondary build you can do that on this thing and you can get 10.6 km with Hipper and Haruna and Porcupine and this is like a full secondary build there is no uh, yeah I know I probably you mean on the uh, Carl Johan yeah, I mean, you could put Aiming Systems Mod 1 there. There's not much you can really do with this guy, because he doesn't have any accuracy skills, but, I mean, we could take... Uh, put, put Iakino on there. And then we get more of a main gun build with the thing. You know? And I, I don't think it's... Well, let's see. Let's see. I mean, we saw what the guns were like with the secondaries and the brawler. What are they like if you actually put on an accuracy inspiration and use aiming systems mod one, you know? Probably not good. Okay, okay. When a non-spotted DD is within your concealment range, though, and your concealment range is fucking 12.5 kilometers versus 13, then you know the DD's closer to you. And with all the islands, it can be... Like, this is how I am, like, 
this is how you counter DDs. Like part of the reason you want concealment is because when you have it at 12.5 kilometer, you know the DD is danger close when you get spotted versus like say you leave off the concealment mod and leave off condo and you're spotted at 14.7 kilometers, you got like no way whatsoever of knowing where the DD is. And yes, when you shoot your guns, the detect blooms out to the main gun range. But if I'm 13 kilometers away from a battleship, say, and I've got like five ships pushing into me, and I'm turned around slightly, and I got 12.5 km concealment, I shoot the guns, and I'm like, oh shit, all these ships are pushing into me. Go silent? Oh, run away, be able to reposition without being shot and focused and losing all my HP. Like, there... You, let me put it to you this way, too. Um, the standard battleship build on WoW's PC has a skill called Concealment Expert, which uh, buffs your concealment by 10%. And every goddamn super unicum you will find on PC uses that build for their battleships. They always use the Concealment Expert skill. Why? Why do they do that? because it's really good like you you should use it i mean you don't have to that's kind of the beauty of this game you don't have to take my advice on builds but this is a hill i will die on condo is one of the most valuable yeah pc main battery gun ranges are further that is true but yeah no concealment is a hill i will die on when it comes to battleships and that's fine if people don't want to, like, take that advice. And you can, like, stack inspir uh, accuracy inspirations on your guns all you want. But the way that battleship players play, partly because their concealment is so poor and they don't build into it, is they go forward, they stop, they bow tank, they reverse... That is a criminal misuse of a battleship. The entire point of a battleship is to take its big-ass guns and move the hulls somewhere on the map where the enemy team has to push pack past the guns in order to get to something, an objective, to kill your teammates, whatever it might be. And having concealment makes it easier to get into those positions. And you would be amazed how much less of a problem HE spam is, too, when you're a little stealthier. Because I hear that all the time, too. Like, HE spam in this game is so broken, what can you do against it? Well, it certainly helps when you're spotted at 12 and a half kilometers. Uh... These guns are marginally better, maybe? We do have 13,000 damage. I think we want to turn around. I, it might have been over pens on the angled Ohio. I don't know what to make of these guns. They're so weird. Wonder if that cruiser is going to come out again. Ah. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I think aiming systems mod one probably is the way to go. I think building into secondaries on this is. Um. It's okay, you can stay broadside like that. I'm not going to shoot AP. You can stay broadside and spotted little Schroeder. It's fine. It's all right. No need to no need to worry. I meant to hit the heal, not that. Or I meant to hit the sonar, not the heal, when I hit the heal. Fire. 
come on. Surely you can hit that citadel. Maybe it has turtle back. I can't remember. Is that four overpens? I am, I was gonna say, I'm shocked I've yet to really see Howland Torps, but there they are. Yeah, torpedoes, direct front. Indeed, indeed, indeed. 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 Um... Oh, he's gonna reverse course. I feel like a different battleship, this Schroeder would be dead. He's taken so many salvos flat broadside from my guns. 840 damage. This is so silly. This is so silly. I think it has turtle back, so that's probably why it's not being citadel. We actually, I think we have the same size guns as the Schroeder too. Oh dear, there's a Schlieff in there. I didn't really realize that. Now I've overextended, but it's fine. Ohio doesn't even shoot at me. I've like massively overextended and I'm gonna die now. Caught in a crossfire with Schlieffen. Bet we can't even Citadel Schlieffen. Well. Who knows? Of course, the Ohio went forward. Hmm. I just don't know about this ship. I mean, to be fair, I just ran it straight into an Ohio. A blah, blah, blah. But that Schroeder... I mean... What kind of armor does that fucking thing have? We have 305 millimeter guns. Schroeder is, is it a tier 7 or a tier 8? I can't remember. It's a German cruiser. Yeah, tier 8. It does have that turtle back. 28. Yeah. That's probably why. It's probably this turtle back. That angle is probably good enough to bounce the 305 millimeter guns. Yeah. Sad. I don't know. The best thing that I've played so far today, the most fun, has been this the Shimanto. I don't know. I mean, I don't know about the Carl. I have the ship on PC, and they, they've changed it um, a lot. Because on that game, it's got 13.5-kilometer torps. It's got 10.6 concealment. 
10.6. So it's like a huge, gigantic, oversized destroyer with 13.5 kilometer torps and 10.6 km concealment. Here, the best I can get is 12.5. And, and um, the torps are 10 km. So it's, it's like doesn't have the same stats, and it can't be played the same way. Are the Ital uh, the I played the Adriatico for one game. It seemed pretty good. And the Hawk did get buffed. It got a reload buff. I don't know that it necessarily needed that super badly, but it got it. Is that Euro Commander? No, I played the San Luis too. It seemed all right. It seemed better. I, I didn't hate it. But Hawk was already good. So yeah, I don't. I really don't know why they buffed it. To be honest with you. I don't think it needed the buff. I do like this thing, though. I really do. It's very nice. Yeah, the Duncan's pretty good. One day we'll get the St. Vincent, too, and that'll be like the Duncan, except you won't be able to hit the Citadel. Torpedo range nearly as long as the guns. I wonder what the Tier 8 is like. Hopefully it has more Torps than 6 per side. I think we let our DD get over here, maybe. I don't think I want to push in too much further at the moment. There's something. Honestly, who knows? really cool thing is how the majority of these turrets turn Just New Orleans? Probably would help if I aimed better. don't think those torpedoes are going to hit me. Nishitaka. I don't think I need to worry about turpits all that much either. Maybe. Don't worry, Hood. You should be dead. Are 
Are those standard IJN torps? I think so. I mean, well, they've got really long range. I think the base is 13 and a half, but you can you can get them up to like 15 with this new cruiser commander that they've got. And they hit for like um, 20k. So they're they're like, yeah. They're definitely IJN torpedoes. They're the um the high damage ones. How's the detectability? Probably really bad. I have to look, but probably bad. I would guess it's like 1.8, 1.9 maybe. Well, actually, no, they're slow, so I bet it's uh, a little better than that. I bet it's like 1.5, 1.6. I'll check when this game is over. But they're only, they're 57 knot speed, so they probably have less detectability because, like, the Shimas have 1.7 or 1.8, but those go much faster. So these are probably a little stealthier than the typical ones. And there is a skill on the commander that improves the stealth, I think. I think I might actually go dark here for a second and go that way a little. Oh, can I not? Because the DD's here. There it is. Hopefully I don't die. But I do need to turn around. Iowa aiming at me, kind of. He did shoot. Eh, all right. Could have been way worse. I do kind of want to go after that Moss, though, because he's going for a base. Torpedoes there in case the Nelson decides to go the other way, I guess. Problem is this Iowa wants to kill me. Which does make it, yep, and I knew he was going to get, we got a battleship in there, I guess, but... do need to do something about that guy considering he's got my broadside can I get a fire just one I don't think Nelson's going to shoot at me. Yeah, that is the one thing about this ship, is the reload time is really long on these guns. Now there's 15 of them, to be fair. So it, w it does sort of make sense that it has a longer reload. 
with that many guns. Uh, yeah, I would say they probably will explode very spectacularly if you're not careful. That is true. Helena does have a much faster reload. And it does have the same number of guns. That is a, that is a fair point. Don't really know why this one has to have such a long reload. It's not like these guns have crazy penetration or something. I mean, they're shattering on literally everything. But as for the uh, armor, yeah, um, yeah, there, there basically is none. And look at that citadel. I mean, it's underwater. To be fair, uh, under the turrets, it's kind of like underwater. But the midsection of the ship and the back section, oh man. I bet this thing is pretty dev strikeable. I've not been hit terribly in it yet, but I bet it is pretty dev strikeable. As the AP, I don't know. I haven't really had a chance to shoot it yet, but if I had to guess, probably not good. Uh, all right, we'll play Alaska. I don't know who this is. Is this... Uh... Oh, it's Beepley. It's Beepley for Super Conceal. Well, 10.4, but... All right. Oh, right, the torpedo stats. Right, right. Almost forgot. Not eight. Need seven. There we go. Shimanto. 1.6, okay. But, although... Hmm, because that decreases the torpedo detectability range. So they're not really 1.6, they're... Okay, they're 1.7, which... I mean, that is the same as, like... Yeah... It's basically the same as, like, Hayate Torps, except Hayates are faster. The Detect is the same. These Torps only go at 58 knots, and they do a little bit less damage. So, yeah, they're nothing too, um, too different from regular IJN Torps. But it, he does have this thing where... Uh, they do more damage. I don't know exactly how it works, but... Alaska. But yeah, so they're typical IJN torpedoes. They aren't any terrible 2KM detect, like, um... Yoshino. Yoshino has 20 km. You can put the 20 km torps on there and they're like um, 2 km detect. It's pretty bad. Do we get a match? Hello, World of Warships Legends? Is anybody playing? Anybody? There we go. Now, what did they do to the Alaska again? Alaska, Alaska, what did they do to you? 
Alaska has sometimes proved to be extremely durable after her recent buff, so we are making her less difficult to damage throughout the match by negating the effects of saturation. While the HP of these modules is increasing, this means it takes more damage for parts of the ship to saturate and functionally a reduction of the ship's survivability. Plus the reload time has been increased slightly. That's what they did. They negated the effects of the saturation so that it takes more damage. So what did they do when they buffed it a couple updates ago? Did they just buff the reload time and they've nerfed it back to where it was? I don't know why they thought the Alaska needed buffed. Actually, I do know why. I do know why. Because I think they make a lot of balancing decisions based off of uh, how well bad players play the ship. And if uh, people who suck at the game can't make a ship work, they'll buff it. I think that's, uh, that's why. Because it didn't need a buff in the first place. There's no universe in which it needed a buff. The people that were having a hard time with it needed to buff their own skills. Mm. Decent. Is he turning a little bit? Three shatters, though. Gotta aim higher. Enemy cruiser sighted. Enemy cruiser. Is that HE? No, that was AP. Um, all right. You should give a little bit more broadside than that. Or not. Wait, there's two Schroeders? Double Schroeder action. And a DD. Okay, Schroeder in the cap is dead. I wonder, no, oh, there it is. Whoops, needed a little bit more lead. He's actually shooting his guns. I don't know, this seems still pretty tanky to me. Alaska versus Schroeder. Who can win this? Solved, 
secondaries are no joke, though. They do melt the ship a little bit. They do. I hope this Z-44 cannot torpedo me from where he is at. Wait for the next heal, maybe. He is probably torpedoing me. Please kill the Z-44. going to be out of radar range. We're going to have to push into the Schroeder now. No, he didn't leave radar range. Good to know. Ah, uh, this is not good. Ah, I was going to try to ram, but no. I think we're going to lose the game now, so that's good. I don't know. Alaska is still fine. That was not a great game in the Alaska, but it's still tanky enough. What about Stalingrad, though? Because they did the same thing to Stalingrad. Well, I don't know if they did the same thing. They might not have done anything to its reload, but they... They nerfed its survivability a little bit. What did they say about Stalingrad? Stalingrad shares the same situation as Alaska, so we're getting similar nerf to the survivability. That's all they did. They didn't do anything to the guns. They just nerfed the survivability. Okay. This might actually be the last game for the day. I think I got a... I gotta like, I gotta run to the grocery store and eat something and then come back and play the game off stream to try to get some footage to start making videos because none of this is going to be usable. Did they nerf the main battery reload? Because all it says in the patch notes is Alaska shares the same sit or Stalingrad shares the same situation as Alaska, getting nerfed to survivability, HP, and then it just lists for the bow, stern, casemate, superstructure. It just says bow HP increased, casemate increased, superstructure increased, stern increased. Just talks about the saturation. It doesn't say anything about the guns, though. So I think it's just the saturation. Which is fine, because this thing is stupidly tanky. It shouldn't... It probably shouldn't be as tanky as it is. Too many DDs. Shima, Shima, Hayate, gearing, okay. Please do not go that way. Go to sea. Go to sea, Shima. Well, 
Why? Thank you, other Shima. Let him do whatever he wants. All right, I think we can stop right about there and... Oh, that's way too much lead. These are Stalingrad guns. These aren't your little, little tiny bitch guns. They don't need all that lead. Shima's hopefully get in front of me and spot the torpedoes. Meh. All right, try this. No? Okay. Unfortunate. How did we not get spotted? I'll admit, I did not expect torpedoes to come from that direction. Eventually, I'll hit the Zao. And eventually, it'll do some damage. Our two Shimas should kill that Shima and then take that cap. I really would like to run into the Zhao. What's that? Yamato. Is the Ohio, like, in the perfect place where if I try to turn, I'll hit him? I think he is. Is he AFK? Oh, I think he's AFK. Well, we'll just bounce off of him real quick. Sorry about that. Use him as a little island to get in reverse. Would be somewhat good if we had the assistance of the Ohio. though can I go dark I'm 
So the DD doesn't have line of sight. Ouch. All the red DDs are dead though, so this should be a pretty boring win. Oh, come on, Stalingrad. Yamato, really? I guess he was slightly angled, though. Uh, it's not the worst update Monday I've ever seen. There's so much new... There's so much stuff, though. All right. Well, this was a terrible game in the Stalingrad. Yamato's probably dead, right? Oh, did we perma break a gun? That sucks. Unless the game is lying. Sometimes I feel like it lies when it says you perma broke the gun and you really didn't. What are you doing, sir? Okay. Well. Probably need to actually switch to the HE. Normally you don't in Stalingrad. Is that both of the guns? He's gonna rep that, right? Should have switched to the AP. Correct that here momentarily if necessary. Yeah, I think I might... I think I might play the last game in the stream in the San Louis instead of, like, the Charles Martel or Henri. Because it got a buff. Oh, the gearing's still alive, though? I didn't realize that. A 
I'll take this area and then go see if I can get the gearing in the radar. Let the DDs torture the Montana. I'm going to venture to guess that he's within radar range. Yep. What is he doing? Imagine the Ohio's, the AFK Ohio secondaries kill him. Maybe not. He's like tunnel visioned on that AFK Ohio. The AFK Ohio secondaries did kill him. What a, what a way to end a game. Poor gearing. I don't know how I'm top of the leaderboard on that one. I didn't, I feel like I did absolutely nothing, but okay. I'll take it. That's that's really sad, though, isn't it? Like, you could have tried to torpedo the Stalingrad that actually had a player at the controller or, you know, damaged it that way, but to, to try to get that poor... I wonder, what happens if your ship is AFK and then you get a kill? Do you get any XP for it? Because that Ohio probably... No, no, he gets one kill, zero XP. Uh, yeah. Unfortunate. Imagine getting a kill and being AFK. The new Japanese cruisers? I've only really played the Shimanto, but uh, I found it to be enjoyable, certainly. But I've been going for about four hours now, and uh, so I think... We're going to wrap things up with one last game in the newly buffed San Luis. Yeah, that's what I figured. I mean, I know they give you zero XP as a punishment if that happens, but I kind of wondered, does it stay zero if you get a kill? But no, stay zero. But yeah, I think uh, San Luis, and that'll be the end of the stream for today. I got to run to the store. I really got to eat something. I'm starving. And then, then I got to play this game a little bit. Got to take like a couple hour break and play the game and try to get some footage for a video on one of these new ships. I don't know if it'll be the Carl Johan or... Carl Johan, Dyson, or Shimanto. One of those ships I'll do a review on first. Whichever one I get a good game in first, probably. What do I need to get from the store besides lunch? stuff not cat litter though already got that can Carl stealth torp no I wish the lowest I can get the concealment down to is 12.5 doesn't even come close to the 10.6 you can get on the PC, which is unfortunate. No, it can't. 
It's got 10 km torps. Me too. Me too. I was really hoping. I, d I didn't think. I thought there's no way they're going to give it the same torps and the same detectability in this game, and they did not. Which is unfortunate. Is that a Magi already almost dead? Oh my god. Well, oh shit. What is that? Is that a fucking... That's a Palmer. No, no. Enough with your secondaries. Yikes. That was a lot of uh, hatred from those secondaries. Probably should have just kept at full speed. not have fire damage on me. That is what I'm supposed to do to you. I'm the cruiser here, Palmer. I'm the one that lights the fires. Oh yeah, the buff is, uh, this ship is like night and day. I really did not enjoy playing it at all. Oh my god. Um, okay. Is it AFK? We got to see if this AP can blap a Schroeder. No citadels. Poor Palmer and his, uh... Yeah, I sold mine. I had to buy it back. But I think I'll keep it this time. It is so much better.
Yeah, it is so... It is, it is really... Worth, I'd say it's worth playing now. It's now... Now it seems like it's in a good place because it feels a little bit spicier than the uh, Charles Martel, which would make sense, uh, but a little bit less spicier than maybe the Henri. But yeah, this seems like a, a great buff to it, honestly. I think we're probably going to get a fair amount of damage this game. Got a witherer. You love to see it. Hey, Brutus, you're gonna have to wait a second. Hopefully, I don't regret that. But I kinda don't trust the Schroeder's ability to damage me. Kill one of these things. Maybe those torpedoes will do it. Come on, kill him. He broke my rudder. Not dead. Okay. Wouldn't be a game in a French cruiser if your rudder didn't get broken. Hold on, Brutus. I am in the middle of farming. Brutus was hanging out in the living room, but he wanted to come back on the chair. So we've picked him. Oh, shit. Torpedoes. All right. Anyway, I don't I don't know if we're going to win this game, but we're going to get like 200,000 damage. So yeah, this uh, this might actually be video potential. It's going to be a lot of damage. I think it's going to be a loss, but I don't think we would have done this much damage in pre-buff San Louis. It's just unfortunate I've used all my reload boosters. But if we can get another perma fire on a Magi, might have to switch to Champagne. One more salvo. Champagne we should be able to... Fuck, is Amagi going to kill me? Ooh, did we get the permafire on Amagi? Yes, okay. Or was that on Champagne? Okay. We're so far away from everything. I don't have engine boost. But yeah, this ship is... Oh my god, it's so much better. I'm very happy about this, honestly. I didn't feel like this ship was worth playing at all, but... Now... Now I'd say it is, and we still got that fire ticking on the Amagi. Maybe that'll kill him? Probably not. Yeah, I played the Shimanto a couple times. It does have three 60-degree turrets. And it's very quick turning, which it should be, considering the reload is a base 15 seconds. They ought to give it fast turret traverse for the to make up for the slow reload.
the Carl Johan. Yeah, I've played it a couple times this stream. Not, uh, not super impressed. My God. You can do all the damage in the world, but they need to get, they need to die. Maybe it's real optimistic. Oh shit, come on. Engine boost, engine boost. Booster D motor activate. Oh my God. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Get in range, San Luis. Take yourself, kill the Schroeder. Maybe the DD can do it. Mogami, Mogami we could kill. What? What? Summers, are you insane? Surely the Amagi or er, the Mogami will not offer himself up on like a silver platter. Oh no, he's turning the other way. F. Brutus, shut up. It's fine. Oh, we should keep the AP loaded. Okay, we should not keep the AP loaded. This is definitely a good game to end things on, regardless of the outcome. Give me more broadside. Yes, Mogami, yes. No, Mogami, give me more fucking broadside than that. Oh, uh, we're probably going to eat his torps. Alright, I give up on the AP. Should have shot the HE, be dead. Oh, that Summers, we're never gonna get him. We're never gonna get the Summers. We're gonna lose this game because the Summers knows that he can just run away and win. GG, Summers, but holy shit. 236,000 damage in the buffed San Luis. What a glorious vessel. Sad, sad loss, sad loss indeed, but uh, 18 fires, high caliber, witherer, confederate, 236,000 damage, zero kills, that's the problem, that is the problem, it's great when, oh my god, 2100 base XP on a loss, even the even our summers got over to, this was a good game honestly even our summers got over 2000 base xp on a loss he probably got all my kills <laughs> um wow wow yeah i think uh well i think i've got my video on the san luis buff for sure for sure. Uh, the ship is good now. Um, it is good. How did we do, though, for this stream? Mm, 
19 games, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 out of 19. Yikes. Not a very good win rate. How do you stream on Xbox? I do not know. I do not know the answer to that. For I am on the PlayStation. But, uh... It would have been 3,260 3, base XP if it had been a win. If only. If only. But hey, at least, uh, at least the San Louis is worth playing now clearly just uh it suffers from the same problem as every cruiser that can pump out a shit ton of damage you can do 236,000 damage and that's great but it's not all that useful to your team if it doesn't turn into kills so but anyway that was pretty uh that was a good one to end it on I definitely don't want to play another one after that so um so that'll be it for today. That will be the end of the proceedings, but um, of course I'll be streaming again on Friday. I don't know exactly what the time will be, but I'll be streaming again then, and hopefully tonight I'll get some like halfway decent games in either the Dyson or the Shimanto or the Carl, and then we'll have uh, some videos out during the week. So... Thank you all for joining me as usual, and uh, good luck out there on the high seas. The waters may be a little bit choppy, but that is it from me today. So I will see you next time. Goodbye.